Hello fellow problem solvers, so today we're going to be doing a problem from the Tournament of Towns Fall 2008 Junior A level problem number one. I suggest you try this problem out for a minimum of 30 minutes, ideally an hour to an hour and a half, but not more than two hours. If on the other hand you'd like to go along with us, I suggest you take 10 minutes and put your first ideas out on paper. So now, let's begin. So this is the problem. We have a hundred queens on a hundred times hundred board such that no two attack each other. And we must show that in each quadrant, in each one of these quadrants of 50 by 50, in each one of these four, there is at least one queen. Now the simplest thing we'll do to assume the contrary and get some sort of contradiction, see what happens from there. Now in chess, queens attack all the other pieces in the same columns and all the other pieces in the same row, all the other pieces in the same two diagonals. So now just by this, this means every column has a queen and every row has one queen. Just because there are a hundred columns, a hundred queens, no two attack each other. So there's a queen in each column and a queen in each row. Now, if this is too difficult to start off with you, for you, if you feel like you want to try out smaller cases, then try out four times four and an eight times eight chessboard and see if you get the same thing. See, what if there's no queen here? Well, then there are queens. Oh, so there must be a queen in one of these two, what's it called, columns. So, and there must be a queen in these two rows. So two queens are here and two queens are here, which means zero queens are here. Does that hold for a four times four? Say there's nothing here. Then we have, okay, these four columns. There must be a queen in each one of these. So there are four queens here. And similarly in these four rows, there are four queens. So there are zero queens here. Okay, now maybe we can look at that here. Assume there are no queens here. That means in these 50 columns, there must be 50 queens. So there's 50 queens here in these 50 rows. There are 50 queens. So we have 50 queens here, 50 here, and zero here. And now with this first step, I invite you to pause for 10 to 20 minutes and try to finish the problem. Well, the idea is, so there's 50 queens here, 50 queens here. How many diagonals do we have? So we have this diagonal, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. That is a total of seven diagonals that go like this. Here we have a total of three diagonals that go like this, but four queens. And here we have a total of 99 diagonals on which there are 100 queens. And by the pigeonhole principle, there must be a diagonal with two queens on them. And now we need to write this up. And I invite you to take five to 15 minutes to write it up. Here's the write-up. So the first thing we do is label our terms, the top left, top right, down left, and down right quadrants or subboards of our board. We assume the contrary. Let's assume there's zero queens in the down right board. And now because there are 100 queens and 100 rows and 100 columns, no queens attack each other. There's a queen in each row in each column. And now we label these. And then we say the second thing, which is, given that there has to be a queen in each of the rows and columns 51 through 100, that means there are 50 queens in down left and top right subboards each. And now with that, we move on to our conclusion, which is the third claim, namely, but that means there are 100 queens in the diagonals for which i plus j is 52 through 150, where it's the i-th row and the j-th column. And that, but because there are only 99 such diagonals, this implies that two queens are in the same diagonal, which is a contradiction. And this solves our problem. So that's it. And as always, thanks for problem solving.